We're here in the Canary Islands with the Mercedes-Benz C-Class, perhaps the most important car Mercedes-Benz will release this year. The C-Class started life as the 190 back in the early 1980s, and we were a little nervous about this new baby Benz. Well, since then, this car has sold over eight and a half million cars worldwide. It is now the heart of the Mercedes-Benz market. It's usually a little nicer here in the Canaries, but we heard the sun is up on the other side of the island, so we're going to take it through its paces. The 2012 C-Class is being billed as a facelift, but there are more than 2,000 plus new parts, from the return of a four-cylinder engine to the U.S. after a long absence, to a new lightweight aluminum hood and five new safety systems. The C-Class sedan will be available in the U.S. this August with a choice of three gas engines, all mated to the very fine seven-speed automatic transmission, which is a critical tool in the fuel economy war. The C300 4MATIC has a carryover 228 horsepower 3-liter V6. The C350 Sport has a much more robust 302 horsepower 3.5 liter V6 from the E-Class with 273 pounds-feet of torque. But it was the entry-level C250 that captured our attention. Its brand new 201 horsepower 1.8 liter inline 4 is direct injected and turbocharged and it produces more torque than the 3 liter V6. The C250 also weighs 400 pounds less than the C300, and it even beats the modern C350 by 300 pounds. The four-wheel independent suspension is carryover. If you live on Tenerife, you'll want the dynamic handling package to manage the sinuous and narrow mountain roads which snake for miles along the edges of vast crevasses. Canary yellow painted stone blocks lining the road edge are a cheerful reminder that nothing but a very long drop awaits you on the other side if you overcook a turn. The C350 is a full 1.2 seconds faster from 0 to 60 than the C250, and that feels great on Tenerife's fast ring road and when you're passing tourist buses waddling uphill, but flinging along with those yellow rocks in your peripheral vision is a much more entertaining proposition in the C250. The C-Class's standard leather interior is much richer now. The list of high-end options is a lot longer and includes upgrades like telematics that allow cars equipped with the command system to access the web. Pricing will be released closer to its August arrival stateside, but expect the entry-level C250 to be in the low $30,000 range. Of course, we're waiting for the C-Class of our dreams, which will be the AMG model. That will come in three versions, a station wagon, the four-door sedan, and a coupe that we saw in Geneva in secret that will be shown to the public in the New York Auto Show. Not just pretty faces, the AMG C-Classes will all come with 487 horsepower, a lot of suspension tweaks, a full-blown performance driver. Um, in addition to that, in another couple of years, for you diesel fans, there will be a diesel C-Class arriving in America. <laughs>